You're in the market for a new washer and dryer and you want the best, but deciding between a top load and a front load set can be daunting. So in this video, I'm gonna pit the two against each other, weigh their 10 biggest pros and cons and declare the ultimate winner once and for all. I know this is polarizing, so feel free to tell me I'm wrong and share your own personal experiences in the comments below. And stick around until the end and I'll even share exactly what set I have at home. Hi, this is John with Designer Appliances, New Jersey and New York's premier appliance showroom. Eventually it happens, your appliance breaks down and you desperately need a replacement, but you're dreading the trip to your local home improvement store where it's impossible to find anyone to talk to. So we've created a store you can look forward to visiting and built a team that's stacked with appliance experts. No boring rows of appliances, only beautiful displays to inspire your home. Not local? Check out our blog and subscribe to this channel to get our expert advice. So let's take the differences between front loaders and top loaders one at a time, starting with the elephant in the room, moldy gaskets. If you have a front loader and don't maintain it properly, mold can quickly develop. Since front loaders have a horizontal tub, a rubber gasket is needed to create an airtight seal keeping water from leaking out, which is great when you're washing clothes, but problematic when the machine sits idle. Moisture left after a load creates a damp environment ripe for mold growth. Check out these images of what can happen. The detergent drawer is another prime spot for mold. Fans of front loaders would tell you that you're just being lazy if you get mold growth. Leave the door open, they say, or wipe the gasket after each cycle. A once a week bleaching of the gasket should do the trick. Laundry is already a chore, and if you don't feel like creating yet another chore for yourself, then a front loader may not be right for you. With a top load machine, you don't have to do anything to prevent mold. No airtight gasket is required since the tub sits vertically. The free airflow keeps any part from staying wet. Front load manufacturers have been busy rolling out solutions to help fix the mold problem. Some have self-clean cycles you'll need to run every so often, but the only thing we've seen that's truly effective and doesn't require extra work on your part is GE's ultra-fresh vent system found on their top-of-the-line models, which blows fresh air through the machine after a wash. Door and detergent department parts are also reinforced with an antibacterial coating called Microban. The winner, top loaders. Mold is the number one complaint we get about front loaders. If you're the type of person who can stick to leaving the door and detergent drawer open, you'll be fine with a front loader. But if you're like most people and not that disciplined, go with a top loader or accept that you might have mold to deal with. Or wait until the end where I discuss how I got around this issue altogether. Which cleans better? For a washer, this is everything. It comes down to detergent distribution and fabric care. While we don't actually test the wash performance of the washers we sell, plenty of consumer rating agencies have, and this one's been scientifically proven again and again. Front load washers remove more dirt and grime and are better at removing stains in almost all tests. So what makes front loaders the better cleaner? Cleaning performance is a function of detergent, water temperature, time, and the mechanical action of how the drum operates. Starting with detergent, front loaders are better at more evenly distributing detergent into the load. Electrolux, as an example, even has a feature called Smart Boost that pre-mixes the ideal amounts of water, detergent, and stain remover for about six minutes prior to releasing it into the drum. This creates the perfect cleaning solution and is why Electrolux is consistently rated top for stain removal. The other thing that makes front loaders better at cleaning is the mechanical action of the drum. As the drum rotates, gravity causes clothes to tumble and rub against each other, gently and evenly removing debris. Contrast this against top loaders, which utilize harsh agitators that pull and twist clothes and don't clean nearly as evenly. And while high efficiency top loaders that scrap the agitator for an impeller are a bit gentler, they still don't clean as evenly as a front loader. The one exception to this rule that we've heard from actual people is when you frequently have heavily soiled loads, like greasy coveralls from your job as a mechanic or muddy clothes from working outside as a landscaper, then a top loader with an agitator and a deep fill option works best. The extra water works to dissolve all of that extra dirt and grime, which you just don't get from a front loader. Front loaders win. Which is quieter? Many top loaders and front loaders today have anti-vibration sound dampening features, so look for those if your laundry room is close to bedrooms or living areas. Regardless, top loaders are louder throughout the cycle, not just at the beginning when you can hear water splashing as the tub fills up. You can, however, get one with a soft closed lid, so at least you won't get annoyed by your family members letting the door slam. The LG WT7800CW is a good example of a top loader with this feature. 
front loaders win. Top loaders are louder, no contest. Have questions yet or need help deciding? Leave us a comment below. And if you're watching our videos to procrastinate instead of studying for finals, we appreciate it. Subscribe and you'll ace the exam on adulting. Which is easier to get clothes in and out of? Top loaders have always been relatively easy to load and empty. The only potential issue? If you're short, you might need a step stool to reach the bottom of the drum to get that last sock. Front loaders, on the other hand, can be annoying to unload if you're tall or have back or knee problems since they're low to the ground. At my home, I purchased the optional laundry pedestals that raise the units by about 15 inches, making them much easier to load and unload. But that's an extra expense. Pedestals can cost as much as $250 each. And while you do gain convenient storage for detergent and dryer sheets, you lose that nice flat folding surface on top. Top loaders win by a hair. They're typically easier on your joints, requiring less bending over, which is helpful as you get older. Just keep in mind if you have shorter members of your family, they may need a small step stool to reach inside items at the bottom, which is not ideal. Which washes your clothes faster? Top loaders typically clean faster because they immerse the clothes inside water for the whole wash cycle. That's especially true of top loaders with an agitator, the post in the center that swirls your clothes around. For instance, the Speed Queen TC5003WN washer completes a wash cycle in about 30 minutes. Top loaders without an agitator use an impeller, GE calls it an infuser, at the bottom instead. You'll see these marketed as high efficiency HE top load washers. They're gentler on clothes and use less water like front loaders, but they take a little bit longer than their agitator counterparts, averaging about 50 minutes for a normal cycle. Front loaders on the other hand average about 60 minutes per normal wash cycle, and while most front loaders have a quick wash cycle, that's usually reserved for just small, lightly soiled loads. You can find front loaders that have a full featured quick wash, like LG's Turbo Wash or Samsung's Super Speed Wash, but those units can get pricey, and those cycles are likely a little bit rougher on your clothes. The winner, top loaders. While some top of the line front loaders now come with a quick wash cycle, the average top loader will wash faster than similar priced front loaders. Which is more efficient? This one's easy. Front loaders definitely use less water. Front loaders use about 2,000 gallons less water per year than top loaders. I looked at my water bill and I pay about $14 per thousand gallons where I live, so that can be an extra savings of about $30 per year in water. Additionally, all that extra water adds up and can overwhelm your drain field if you have a septic system. Another thing I noticed in my house, when I'm in the shower and the washer kicks on, the water pressure drops while the washer fills. With a top loader, this could mean an extra few minutes of low pressure if you run a load of wash while trying to use water elsewhere. Front loaders have yet another energy saving benefit. They're better at removing water from clothes due to the way they spin at the end of the cycle. This means your clothes are ready and partially dry before they even go into the dryer. The winner, front loaders. Which is easier to fit into your laundry space? Most people install their washer and dryer side by side, but if you're tight on space, front loaders provide more options. Front loaders can be stacked on top of each other with the washer on bottom and dryer on top. To make the controls easier to reach, brands like LG and their wash tower have created laundry pairs that share a control panel in the middle to conveniently control both the washer and dryer. Also, front loaders come in a variety of widths. The standard width is 27 inches, but front loaders from brands like Miele and Bosch are also available in compact widths of 24 inches. Top loaders just don't have these compact options. And finally, front load pairs have options with ventless dryers. So if you live in an apartment and can't vent to the outside, ventless dryers use condensation to drain water out of the tub instead of relying on venting out hot, humid air. Front loaders win this category for obvious reasons. Top loaders can't be stacked, and that's a downside. You can only use them where you have the space to set them up side by side. Whichever you prefer, be sure to check the dimensions of your space against any machine before you buy, especially the depth. Are you on Instagram? Follow us at Designer Appliances to see how your favorite appliances look in real laundry rooms and get ideas to make the most of your living spaces. Which spins faster? That means your clothes go into the dryer less wet, so they dry faster, saving you energy and time. We touched on this before, but during the final spin cycle, front load washers spin about 33% faster than top loaders, removing more water from your laundry. This means your clothes will be lighter and dry faster, and you'll save on energy costs. The winner? That one's easy, front loaders. Which looks better? This one's quick. Front loaders look like they came from this century. Top loaders look like they're stuck in the 90s. We prefer front loaders with their nice trim and glass doors. 
The winner, front loaders. Pricing and value. You've got to factor in maintenance and potential repairs too. We don't think top load or front load technology is inherently more reliable than the other. With any washer, reliability is a function of build quality. A lot of people think front loaders break down faster. We can't say that's definitely true. All manufacturers offer good, better, and best options, and the machines are priced accordingly. The better models tend to be built better. In the best models, you'll often find bells and whistles like Wi-Fi or a little extra capacity, or perhaps a different color finish. Front load washers cost more, generally speaking, but we think they're worth it if you're at all flexible on the price. If you're looking for a rock bottom price, choose a top loader. The technology is simpler and it's time tested. The winner, it's a draw. It depends. If you're looking for rock bottom prices, go for a top loader. If you're willing to spend a bit more on a better machine, go with a front loader. So there you have it. Based on our super scientific study, front load washers are the clear winner, taking six out of the 10 categories we arbitrarily decided to rank. In all seriousness, I could make the case for either type. For me personally, we have plenty of space in our laundry room and noise and wash performance was a top priority. So I decided to go with a front loader. My only hesitation was the mold issue, since that's plagued my family in the past. This time around, I went with the GE Ultra Fresh Pair. They're the only brand that has both an antimicrobial gasket as well as an active fan to help keep the door gasket fresh. And since I'm tall, I opted to put them on pedestals to avoid bending over to reach inside. We're a year in with this pair, and so far we love it. I'll share a link to the exact pair I have in the comments, and we'll be reviewing these GE pairs soon, so subscribe to get notified. You're going to find, just like I did, that the best washer for you depends upon your preferences and circumstances. We meet different types of customers with different opinions every day, and we know that they're going to be happy with different machines. There's no one-size approach fits all solution, but we can help you find the best one for you. If you're in the New Jersey or New York area and ready to make a purchase, our team of experts would be happy to help. Visit us online, give us a call, or stop by one of our showrooms to get started. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel where we provide helpful tips and advice that will make you an educated appliance shopper.